Yo, what is good everyone? Kale back here again with a new video. Sorry that I didn't upload yesterday. Uh, I, have, I have a lot of busy things to do, obviously, as I said a million times already, so I'm not gonna describe it. But I'm gonna I'm get straight to the video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that um, comment button. <laughs> Just comment if you like the video, and uh, let's have a chat in the comments, you know? But yeah, um, let's get straight to the video. So, we're watching Nico's video, um, I sent my lookalike to national news, so obviously if you guys haven't seen his previous video, he's running for mayor at um, the United Kingdom, he's from the United Kingdom, so he's running for mayor, I'm a big fan of his, and I thought we might just uh, react to this video today, so let's get straight to it. You would think this is me being interviewed, but this is actually my doppelganger who I found and put on national news. I'm running for Mayor of London. So I've been running for London Mayor, but it's time for us to take this campaign to the next level. We needed a manifesto, which is basically a published declaration of my intentions, motives, or views. So I started typing, typing something that I knew represented the people, represented the youth. I wrote policies that would make the world a better place, like shutting down McDonald's with broken McFlurry machines, renaming Big Ben to Big Ben Clock so it qualifies as a BBC, banning three quarter length trousers and making it punishable by death to anyone who wears them, and not forgetting the most important, bringing the price of the Freddo back down to 5p. My creation was a masterpiece and it was time for it to be toasted to the world and the people loved it. Never has a manifesto represented the people as much as this one, but although millions had seen it on Twitter and- Sorry that I keep editing the volumes as well. I'm just trying to get the perfect recording. I should have done this before, but you know, we're, we're chilling here, so let's get it. Instagram. We needed to get it out to more people, but the question was who? The first people to reach out to us for an interview was BuzzFeed. Ah, oh, hello. Would you even describe yourself as someone that's like politically engaged or politically active? Young people aren't represented in politics. I didn't want to do this, but I felt like I had no choice. There's that Thanos moment of, fine, I'll do it myself. How do you convey to the voter that this is something that you're taking seriously? I'm taking it extremely seriously. I don't know how I can convey it to the voters any more so than right now. Yeah. Oh, One shit. sec, sorry. This is very bad. Oh shit, <laughs> my bad, I was trying to pause it. Yo, imagine doing this if you're not like a famous YouTuber. That'd be crazy, cause if I did it right now, cause I'm, I'm not big, so yeah, I'd, bro, <laughs> I can't, I, I would not be able to do that, you know? Yeah, let me just tell whoever's at the door oh, to get away. Oh my God. We're, cur we're currently in an interview. Please um, leave, thank you. Sorry, my apologies there. Um, yeah, no, we're, we're taking this um, extremely seriously. What would you say are the characteristics that make up an NDL member? World domination. Uh, I think Hitler had similar ideas. No, but I don't I'm not, I'm not Hitler. I'm trying to do good in this world. I'm not trying to kill people. I'm the first good person to want world domination. Bye. I am disgusted to my core. You know, I can't keep doing this. Yes, okay, I want world domination. That doesn't mean I'm a s sadistic supreme leader. Even, I am a supreme, even though I am a supreme leader. My spirit can't take being seen as some joke anymore. So I'm done. I'm not doing any more interviews because I'm a very serious man with a very serious plan. So I'm gonna think of um, something else now. And the plan I've come up with is definitely serious. BuzzFeed called me Hitler, which makes me feel sick. This is my struggle. In fact, I'll just say it in German. This is Mein Kampf, and I can't allow oh, myself no. to be at risk of being disrespected <laughs> by the media again. I mean, they already got my name wrong on national no. TV. On the, the fact they have the audacity to compare me to Hitler is where I draw the line. If they don't want to respect me, then I won't respect them. So it seems there's only one logical outcome, and that's fooling the media by finding my doppelganger. Doppelganger, a double of a living person. Basically, I gotta find my lookalike, but luckily I've already found him. See, in October 2019, I got sent a random video of a guy in a uni lecture, and he just so ha- Nah, how do you do that? 
Y'all, Nico's fans are crazy. ...to look just like me after a long search on Instagram looking for this Donny. So, uh, yeah, help me find him, please. We eventually found him. His name's Dominic, and we've been in contact ever since waiting for the perfect moment to make a video together. And that perfect moment is now. All we had to do was call him. Hello, my long-lost brother. How you doing? Hey, not too bad, not too bad. So, as you know, I'm running for London Mayor. I obviously can't be involved in all of these interviews because it just takes up too much time. I feel like this reaction video is going to be long. <laughs> My bad, but um, cause I, I enjoy the video. So if I enjoy it, then somebody would enjoy it like that. You know, I don't know how to explain it like that, but we're just watching what I found. Hopefully that's okay. I want to do more music video reactions because that's what my channel is based on. But yeah, let's keep going. But I'm trying to train you to be me so we can just basically interchange between each other. Hey, no, no problem, no problem. <laughs> all good, yeah? yeah? Well, that was surprisingly easy. Well, all that's left to do now was meet my lookalike. Oh, no oh, way! Shit. You know, this feels like one of those, that's like, long-lost twin reunion things. Oh, it's no, me! I see it, I see it. <laughs> Honest to God, I see it now. <laughs> Two knickers in my car. <laughs> but it was time for things to get serious. We had a very important job to do. Dominic was going to be taking interviews for me, and if people were going to believe the switch, the first... It was Boston, you know? I'm eating, I apologize if that's like ASMR. No, I don't know. The thing that had to be done was uh, change his clothing. Now, yes, we were wearing the same clothes, but there was still something missing. A beard. It's like the attractive version of yourself. Imagine seeing, <laughs> that's <was> funny. <laughs> to be specific, I needed a wizard who could magically put a beard on this man, but who could I find? We've got HD cuts. Best barber in the business. See, HD Cuts isn't your average barber. Not only can he do the most dangerous skin fade I've ever seen, but he can also make you have facial hair from absolutely nothing. Don't ask me how, because I have no idea, but it must be some sort of witchcraft. But with that being done, my lookalike was ready. <laughs> That's me. It's just the more attractive version of me. That's what I say. Nick upgraded. All right, Dominic. Wait, hang on. You mind if I call you Nick? That's fine. Any name. Well, if I'm calling you Nick, I might as well call you Nico. So, Nico, basically, in these interviews, these people, they're going to try and make a joke out of you. They're going to try and take the seriousness away from your campaign. But I have faith in you because you are Nicole Milana. But if you need my help, I'm going to be behind the computer with this whiteboard and I'll be giving you advice. The only thing that can go wrong here is you ruining my whole campaign. But there's no pressure, Nico, because huh? I look at you, I see yeah. myself. Oh, this guy, Just a man. slightly more handsome version, which to me makes me feel very insecure. So with that being said, let's get these interviews underway. Any questions? I'm ready. That's Nico Omelana. <laughs> That's my mayor. Here we go. Good luck, my friend. I was expecting the glasses. First up, we have Tom Harwood. Now, Tom Harwood's a young Tory. He was a journalist for the Daily Telegraph, but now he's a political correspondent for GB News. But the question is, would he be able to tell the difference between me and Big Dominico? How extensive was his research? I suppose we will just dive straight into this. We've got very different audiences. Could you explain for us who you are and why your candidacy matters? First of all, I'm Nico Omelana. I love my audience. Your oh my god. <laughs> this guy. I like him. I like him. He's got confidence. I feel like he, this guy's going to be your next YouTuber because I feel like he tagged him in the comments somewhere. But uh, that's cool. On your hands. Tom may define them as schmucks. How the hell is this work? This was meant to be one of my wilder ideas because let's be real, his voice is completely different to mine, but this story is none the wiser. What's going on, Tom? Moving on to your manifesto, which you've referred to quite a lot. You say that you want to freeze the River Thames. How are you going to do that? One of my favourite movie star friends is Elsa, and she's not oh. afraid to let it smell personally. <laughs> Near that fails, we'll get. Mr. Freeze. Another manifesto promise of yours is that you'll deport the EDL. Why are you not deporting a larger proto-fascist group like Britain First? I have a personal confliction with the EDL. EDL versus NDL. But you'll keep Britain First in London and in the country a larger proto-fascist group than the EDL. When did I say that? This schmuck is literally putting words into my mouth. Well, Dom's mouth. He knows I'm not trying to say that. Yeah, he's pushing for it anyways because he's trying to make me look like a fool. And trust me, he really capitalised on the opportunity to make me look stupid. Here's some of the quotes he got Dom to say. So you couldn't have any automated trains on the network? So we could automate the elderly and the pregnant women. What? Have you seen the videos of him drinking pee? 
Uh, he sent them to me before he's a weird child. If you're going to be racist, please do. Right. So we can get rid of you right. once and for all. I just want to say I don't condone anything my lookalike saying, and at this point, I was just trying to make sure he kept his answers as brief as possible. You have proposed a 6.9% hike in the minimum wage. Making businesses pay more for their labour might mean that there are fewer jobs, particularly at a time when businesses don't have all that much money after the deepest recession we've ever experienced. Sus. Oh my god. <laughs> Excellent. On that note, Nico, thank you very much for joining me today. Anytime. Cracking. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. hey, that was gone. That was gone. That was gone. Oh. oh my gosh. If that's not iconic, I don't know what is, man. He thinks he's got some golden interview where he's made, made us crumble. <laughs> but three days after this, Tom Harwood ended up figuring the whole thing out. He tweeted warning his journalist friends about me and he said that supposedly he figured it out straight after the interview. This would be fair enough, except for the fact it's a complete lie. See, I caught you in 4K Ultra HD, Tom Harwood. You literally tweeted about our interview and then you deleted it because your followers told you it wasn't the real me. Unlucky Tom, mate. Better luck next time. But unfortunately, not all of our stunts were so successful. One journalist from Radio Bremen could somehow spot the difference between two completely different people. Hello. My first question, of course, is your manifesto, like yesterday you published it. Can you name like a top three you are standing the most for? The renaming of Big Ben. Calling it Big Ben Clock would just be... At this point, he started waffling on about the same answer for what felt like about five years. So we needed to do a quick switch and get me in there. Sorry, um, basically what, what I want to, um, what I want to talk about uh, is obviously the Big Ben, getting into Big Ben clock. Oh, this guy's funny as hell. Yeah, I have to ask, like, the first guy, who, who was it? What? It was me, Mickey Omelana. It's not your voice. <laughs> I want to talk about politics for young people. Like you said, why is it broken? Maybe, can you explain this? With that one question, I was already tired of this interview. Can you explain this? <laughs> Fundamentally, the system doesn't support them. Now, as we've been caught out at this point, we just decided. I feel like I've been watching this video the whole time without talking. I apologize for that. <laughs> I just don't know where to actually talk in the video. I'm quite enjoying the video. So if you guys are still here, thank you. <laughs> Let's keep going. And to completely lose the plot. Can we change again? <laughs> it's fine. It's me, Nico Wamalana. <laughs> Any questions, I'm here to answer. Oh, I can't do this. You can do it. Just talk to me. Do it for the nation. Interview me. <laughs> Let's talk about the poll. This guy's a like clown. you already got five percent. A lot. How did you do it? Well, the people wanted to be heard. They wanted to be listened to, and I feel like finally they have that in me. Yeah, this whole interview's gone a bit wild. <laughs> I'm sorry, Radio Bremen, but we still had one huge journalist to go. Nico, hello, mate. Finally, we have Owen Jones, a very experienced journalist. He writes a column for The Guardian currently, and he used to work for The Independent. But after many years of being a journalist, he was finally able to get his big break. Speak Wait, how did he get all these interviewers to interview him? I thought last time he only got the, uh, was it the BBC or... I don't remember. Thing to my look alike. Before I ask about your proposals for London, can I ask about the gentleman behind you? Now I was shook because I thought I'd been caught out immediately, but in reality it was much, much worse. Owen Jones had noticed the picture of known terrorist oh Osama bin Laden my on my God. wall, and I had no faith in Dominico to pull through. Over here, we have my uncle. Um. Good old uncle, Summer. Yeah, okay. Here we have my other uncle, Barak. So oh, we, yeah. <laughs> I take both their ideologies together and put it into my politics. Oh my god. Oh. That's quite a claim. That's, oh my. I hope they didn't publish this on actual news, <coughs> newspapers. Because <coughs> I know people my age don't read newspapers. <coughs> and it's a lot more older people, so that's... They don't take jokes seriously and lightly, so that's the problem. Said that I'm taking a literal terrorist ideologies. This guy has gone mad with power. How the hell could you get out of this? How would you combine Barack Obama and Osama? My bad. <laughs> I was just checking. I thought someone's calling my name. Laden. Uh, 
they are some obvious differences between the two. So how do you synthesize them? I'm also really confused with your question. Who is Bin Laden? I, I'm, no, I don't know who he is. Oh, I see, okay. So what would you first, do you think, your big two policies? Quite a few of the policies are quite important. Boris does need to shush. And I believe... Why is there a cat in front of the video? Possibly. So does your cat. He's a bit uppity today, I have to say. So he's staring at you right down the camera. What would you say to this little mob to get him to go and cast his, his ballot for you? Shh. <laughs> Just gonna have to be quiet, aren't you, I'm afraid? That's, that's one of now the core policies of a mayoral candidate. I couldn't handle it anymore, so I had to get him out of there. So I knocked on the door and waited for the switch around. Even Owen Jones was finding this interview painful. Just look at his face. But the question is, was he going to notice a completely different person walking in front of him? My apologies. <laughs> who, who's, who's at the door? Oh, it was just one of my friends in the house. To be honest, originally I couldn't contain my shock at the fact this was That's working. He completely overlooked the fact I was a different person with a different voice. But then I started to find my groove. Uh, another thing which resonates with me strongly as this entire interview I've just been... To be honest, this is a great marketing technique for Nico um, for his like YouTube channel. Because if you're on a bunch of big newspapers and all that, geez, the amount of people that are well, like, older people, maybe not. Maybe like BBC News, something. Uh, actually, never mind. Being shown on national television maybe could boost his subscribers. Speaking, what resonates with me, McDonald's, <laughs> the moment they break the McFlurry machine, we just shut it down and allow it to be low rent housing for young people. Thank you so much for joining me, Nico. It's been a real- Did he just say McDonald's? Like remove the, oh. oh. Ride. And this is the bit that makes me die. At this point, clearly a member of his team texted him and said that there was a doppelganger and the pure shock in his face as he's trying to figure it out is priceless. It's been... It, it, it's <laughs> been... Uh, it's been a real <laughs> ride. And now I've just realised that um, you are... There was a doppelganger issue there, wasn't there? Poor Owen was so confused, I needed to explain it to him. Being a London mayor, I need to be in many places at different times. So I'm just training my second Nico to do the same thing. The issue which we have right now is, I don't think he really knows what I'm standing for. Hence the Osama Bin Laden. Um. <laughs> Thank you both very much. I will be taking myself and what remains my dignity out of this interview. So appreciate it. Appreciate it, my friend. Thank you. But all I've learned is Dominico is a huge risk to our campaign and needed to be kicked out. Kicked out of the house entirely. Wow, why would you do the guy like that? Come on, give him some promotion or something. But that leaves us with one final message, one final push. The NDL have come together in their masses for this campaign, and I'm super grateful, but let's keep it going. Push the NDL in YouTube streams, comments to your family's well, on- he is number one on trending, so that's kind of insane. If he actually gets mayor, I, I, it's probably not going to happen because of uh, the government controlling the system and all that, but um, if it does, that's insane ballot papers at the start they didn't want to take us seriously but now's our chance to make an impact because on may 6th it's election day it's about to come to an end my friends let's end it right peace out i thought it finished for a second yeah if you're in the uk make sure you go vote for um nico for the ndil ndl my bad my bad i think it's the ndil ndl NDL, National Defense League. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Make sure you go for, for uh, NDL. Apparently, there's a documentary coming soon. If you want to see the full manifesto, then follow me on Instagram or Twitter. To be honest, you should be following me on both. And subscribe to our second channel, the NDL. Uh, that's it. All right. So that was the Nico's video I sent my look like on national television. And go subscribe to his channel, obviously, and go subscribe to NDIL. I mean, NDL. <laughs> I apologize. Um, and yeah, if you're in the UK, go vote. This is going to be insane if he gets it, but still go vote. And yeah, that, <coughs> that was the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that uh, <laughs> comment, uh, and tell me what you guys thought of the video. I'm sorry that. I didn't talk too much in the video. It's probably a long video now, but um, 
if you're still here at the end thank you so much and i appreciate you just comment one two three six four five and i'll know that you finished the video and yeah and follow for uh, follow me on instagram and yeah appreciate y'all for watching the video i'll see you guys in the next video peace